I feel so ready. So ready that I'm gonna fart. Wonderful! Yes. Oh no, that just sounds like Yoda, Tony. Uh, uh, Professor Oak on Pokemon Snap sounds a little, a little Yoda-ish. Mm Yoda, Yoda-ish. Okay. Yush. Uh, Thanks. Seems you really like Say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So Say's more than a friend to me. She's, she's a lover. Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. Um, don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want and vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job just because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Uh, Sorry about that outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. Jill, that... Jill, that's a weird thing to say, No, Jill. it's not. I think that's reasonable. I think she's trying to be comforting and, like, affirmative. Mm. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break, and you could use some. Well, for a given value of fresh. I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, then. Gil, please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Oh, oh, I like the idea that stuff happens while we have this silly transition screen. Yeah. It's this cool. She's taking her break. Hey, do you think she's going to have a sandwich? I sure fucking hope so. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Jill's sandwich. What? What are you talking about, Mal? That's a tired old reference to a long forgotten game that no one knows about. Uh Uh-huh. That we're not playing right now? Come on. God damn, is it chilly outside? Oh, 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 okay. oh, we get oh, to choose oh, the songs okay, again. Sure. Jill, I, Jill really needed us to know about how cold it was. I, I guess so. I mean, I don't know. I kind of like that's like a little transition thing or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just going to get a bunch of comments like, what? Do you hate the first screen? Like, that's shitty. And I'll what? be like, Tony, you continue to talk as though we get all kinds of like, a, just like a slew of comments <laughs> every video about like people just complaining about the shit that we, that never happened. That's not true. It happened like that one time, maybe. Wow. One whole time out of doing this for over a year. Like fucking 80 over million year, thousand videos. No, we only, we only have like five videos up or something. Hush. What was Art's voice? Oh, it was like a, a bullshit, like mousy, nasally dude voice. Oh, like real nasally? I think so. Like a, like a what? What would a kid like you know about that, eh? Yeah. Well, it was like kind of like Stella's really. Oh, shit! Uh, okay, I'm gonna need you to take one of these. Uh. Can you take art? Okay, I can do art. I'm just giving you the facts as they are. What happened while I was gone? Let's see. Detective guy comes in, Cat Boomer Girl greets him, they start talking. Everything was okay until the girl mentioned Zaibatsu Corp offhand. After that, the guy got riled up and started bad-mouthing it. Oddly enough, he was the only one. She just carried on like it was just a normal conversation. I see. Well, I won't deny Zaibatsu Corp is anything but innocent. When you get down to it, it has enhanced the quality of life here. Yeah, if by enhanced you mean getting yanked around by a shiny new chain around our necks. Can't you see that those big companies don't care about us? Why do you think Glitch City is mockingly called the guinea pig of the world? We're just one big test group for them to use however they want. But then again, I don't expect a kid to understand how hard it was, let alone a rich kid. True, I don't know. And true, I have a privilege that clouds my judgment. 
but can you deny that the meddling of Zaibatsu Corp has brought quite a few benefits? Like what? The AI integration program they started is making huge advances in the AI department. Every day, more and more countries are seeing the benefits of recognizing AIs as citizens. Yes, but we also hold the AI reformation program, meaning that we're also the world's Leland prison. AI went rogue? Transfer it to a delivery drone or ship it to Glitch City. That murderer is now delivering your pizza. Fair point. Although that program has proven to have reformed many AIs. They don't brag about their 88% success rate for nothing. Um... The city also has a stronger economy. Zaibatsu Corp's success has made more and more companies bring their products here. And the gap between classes continues to grow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with art here, unfortunately. <laughs> more companies just mean more people who will plant their feet on your face. But it also means more products are being brought to the lower classes. Does, Does that... Stores have 20... <laughs> Stores have 20% more va brand variety compared to last year. Uh... Saibatsu Corp's main medical research brand has also made lots of discoveries. More and more illnesses, previously thought incurable, are being addressed every day. It's amazing for those who can afford them. Meanwhile, down here we're experiencing medicine shortages almost every month. You have a point there. Oh, but there are also more jobs. All the companies coming down here need personnel. So the unemployment rate has gone down by almost 40% this year. More jobs? Shut up. Am I wrong? Well, that's... Hey you, don't just sit there. Give me a Zen star. Sure. <laughs> Let's make a Zen star for the sore baby. That's how I think of art. Yep. Four of each ingredient. Wow, have we made this one? Yes, we have. Oh, 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 uh, 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 oh Tony. Uh, 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 oh, why? Oh, fuck! <laughs> uh, 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 Tony, uh, stop it, please. Uh, That's not pleasant, it's sonically. Not, it's not... <laughs> That's the opposite of ASMR, Tony. <laughs> yeah, no. Wait. That's like, that's, that's D-A-S-M-R. Dark ASMR. No. <laughs> Dark smur. <laughs> oh, God. Not the evil smurfs. There were evil On smurfs. On the rocks. They're, oh, God. They were so evil. Mm-hmm. All right. Beautiful. That's a Zen snar. Uh, here. Zen, Zen snar. God, this is awful. It's your order, though. I seriously hope you don't really believe everything you just said. Of course I do. Why else would I say it? You do bring up something I always fail to remember. All the benefits we've gained over time are limited to a few. I can talk about advances all I want, but in the end, there's still a luxury belonging only to a few. And even those that can be accessed by everyone are more like an improvement in the bigger picture. Wow, what a what a what a level headedness Stella is having right now that is surprising to this style of conversation. Yeah. That doesn't take away the fact that there have been positive changes. Credit where credit's due, don't you think? That's a uh... Oh god, I don't agree, Jill. <laughs> Pretty mature answer. Discussions are a way for two parties to understand each other. The only people afraid of discussion are the ones whose points are too fragile to defend against someone. Oh, shit. Yeah, mature. Whatever. I'm gonna take the chance to ask you about that job I gave you yesterday. I haven't been able to find much, but I can at least tell you that she wasn't at the bank when it opened up. What does that mean? Either she left before the whole ordeal started. Or she managed to escape at some point before the whole thing ended. All the corpses are accounted for. I only found one totally disfigured, but witnesses identified it. It wasn't your friend, that much is for sure. I see. Did you call him here? No, he just so happened to come here today. The weird part is that the girl did enter the bank. It's like she vanished or something. I see. Thanks. Keep it up. Your face brightened a bit. Hope it's the last thing you lose, I guess. If he's telling the truth, Say might have found a way out. She's a resourceful girl. She surely did something. I... Oh, oh, oh. oh Tony, why? 
Oh, is the recording okay? Oh, okay. It looks okay. <laughs> I think I'll... <laughs> Fuck. I think I'll have another drink. Do you want anything? Me? Um, just get me whatever you order. Two bad touches, please. <laughs> On it. <laughs> Uh, I I don't I don't I don't get it either. Like like is it a sex thing? Are you I laughing don't because know. it's a sex thing, Jill? Uh, maybe, but that's a bad sex. It's thing. a bad yeah exactly. Like that's not a sex thing that is funny or good. Uh, okay, all right. Bad touch number one. All mm -hmm. right. Bronson, powder, carm, o tree, in flannergeed. Oh fuck. Uh, it's all the rocks. Hell yeah. Oh boy. Uh, it's it's good. I'm good at games. Uh, I remember this one party I went to. The guy that came up with the name of this drink showed up. After people found that one out, they lined up to slap him for whatever reason. They didn't seem offended to me, though. Imagine a guy shows up and tells you, I made a classy bad touch. Wouldn't you line up to slap him? Um, are you okay, Jill? I'm... Ugh, Jill. <laughs> now that I think of it, did you find that girl you were looking for a week ago, Mr. Vondelay? Turns out she was at the Apollo Trust Bank all this time. No wonder I couldn't get in touch with her. Girl? Someone paid me to look for Crimson Rose and she happened to be at the... Um... What? I'm trying to avoid mentioning that a dangerous assassin got stuck in the same bank as the girl you're looking for. Oh, Jesus. Oh, don't worry. Besides, the last thing I'm worried about with Say is people. Why is that? Her attitude is usually so laid back and gentle that she has no problem getting people on her side. And on the off chance that she has to defend herself, well, I once saw her take care of a warbuck on Haywire by herself. Fuck. She did need medical help afterwards, but she recovered in no time and managed to take care of the bot. Is she really that good? She's not only really physically fit, she's also really good with Krav Maga and... Oh! Something wrong? No, nothing. I just realized I forgot about all that. Say's not invincible, but she knows how to take care of herself. And like I said, she's resourceful. She surely found a way out. I just hope she's well wherever the hell she is. She owes me an ice cream. <laughs> you want another drink, Mr. Vondelay? It's on me. Are you sure? Yeah, order away. Okay, then. I'll have a piano, man. And you, Miss Delk? I'm fine. Get his order. One piano man for the detective. Mal, quick, make that piano man. I oh, have an emergency shit. to tend to. I'm so excited. I get to make a drink finally, and I won't count the whole fucking ass time. You said it was fine. Did I? Yeah. Hmm. Well. I may have been feeling more charitable at that moment. Now that you've had to deal with my bullshit. Yeah. It's so much. It's Tony. Stop it. <laughs> what? Stop what's the, what's it. The, what's the problem? Stop it. I, I, why don't you just come on, put it in. Come on, Mal, put <laughs> it in. Tony. Put it in. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Fucking piece of garbage. I have a mouse and Mal was using the touchpad on my keyboard. <laughs> God. And I think it's funny. You need four more powder delta. I, I was I was on my way. Were you? On my way. Tell Good. everybody that I'm on my way. Is that a song? Yeah. Jesus. From Brother Bear. <gasps> what? I love that movie. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. It's a piano, man. Here. So this is what drinking something classy without worrying about the price feels like. All right. I should get going. My contact will arrive at the rendezvous point soon. I'll let you know if I find out anything else, Miss Hoshii. Please do. Right then. You've been generous today. He made my night with his discoveries on Say's situation. I'm not totally over it, but at least I got distracted for a bit. Well, that's it for me. Good night, Miss Hoshii. Thanks again. Please come again. You don't mind if I stay a bit longer, right? 
Why would I? It's not like you're asleep. Thanks. This place is soothing. Okay, I'm actually starting to really like Stella. Me she's, too. She's quite charming. I'll just go sit over there near the arcades. <laughs> all right, then. That'll be wait, all wait, Dana. Wait. <laughs> Shit, which one's Brian? Brian's the BTC guy. It was just oh, you, but slightly so nasally. <laughs> it's my secret Texan voice, Dana. <laughs> God. Uh, uh, all right, then. That'll be all, Dana. No, not even that nasally. Mostly just you. Quite a mess. The situation with, um, Robert. Brian, you have a meeting in an hour with MI6, Hall C. Right, right. Oh, if it isn't Miss Hoshi herself. Oh, Brian, fancy meeting you here. I didn't expect to see you here, of all places. Are you busy? Mind catching up for a bit? Sure, no problem. Jill, we'll be sitting over here. Let me know if you need anything. Well, do. And this what, face. What is this face? Why is the face still here? Um. This holophone is an old model, so hanging up is a bit laggy. You can call me Cass, by the way. Uh, I'm Jill. S say, you guys give a lot of liberties to my boss. I mean, she gets away with too much stuff. She's not hurting anyone. And wouldn't you say it's more interesting that way? I finally hung up. <laughs> Whew, it's been quite the day. That was weird. <laughs> it was weird. At least the streets are calm today. I have <laughs> arrived yet again at the, <laughs> oh God, at the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Uh, calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said as much the last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing society imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. God, that sounds like something, exactly like something one of my kids would say. <laughs> one of the fucking kindergartners. You look winded, Virgilio. We are all little toys winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And yet, you're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um, I was jogging. Dressed like that? I can jog however I want. Yes, you can. <laughs> what can I get you? Something fake. Of course. All right. Something fake. Uh, eh? uh I'm not going to lie. I don't have high hopes of just getting this one right. I mean, isn't it all kind of fake? I don't know. I don't know. There's the bad touch, beer, bleeding. Wait, 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 wait. I think it's, if it, if anything, it's going to be in the description. Oh, no. Okay, all right, all right. So the, the beer that we have is not actually real beer, right? So I it's like kind it. of a fake. Yep, let's do it. One, two, three, 50. So oh. Perfect. Okay, here you go. Now, tell me why this is fake. Because I didn't even try. Your expectations of me giving a damn about the abstract order are fake. Bravo! Brilliant! Uh, say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Oh boy. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes and clean it for people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me, stop touching the exhibits. You're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Uh, eh? He still fails to realize that I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Uh... Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the owner realize that too? Yeah. I bet he treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly! Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. 
<sighs> Purity! I can't give him pure ingredients, so, um... Maybe just something that's, like, super alcoholic? So maybe something that's, like, one ingredient. Uh, do we have anything like that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we don't. No, I don't think so. Maybe a fringe weaver. No. You don't think so? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I I can't really think of what purity would be other than just a lot of alcohol. I mean, I guess. I mean, unless it's something to do with the name or the description, which honestly I'm a little bit over that. So we're going with a bunch of alcohol. Which one was that? That was the, not the, have we ever made a fluffy dream? We, yes. we made one once. Yes. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Tony, it's already big. Huh? Oh, I know. Wait, so 18. Uh, it's going to be broken when you make it. No, no, it's not going to be broken. It's going to be broken. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It, Mal. Mal, 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 Mal. Ye of little faith. Ha, 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 How is this? Pure. It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Ah, <sighs> uh, I, I think I did well just now. Hmm? Hey, you, the guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think. No, 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 no. We haven't met ever at all. That's an interesting reaction. Uh. Ah, Jill. I'll be taking my leave now. Be careful out there. Thanks. Uh, huh? Excuse me. Have we met somewhere before? That face. That eye. What about my eye, punk? We haven't met ever at all. Never, ever, ever, ever. Good talking to you, bartender. Um, I really like her surprised face. I like it so much. I like that the ears are up and she's just got this big old stupid like, huh? Huh? Did you just scare off a client? Apparently. Well, I'm off. Thanks for everything. <laughs> Don't mention it. Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clients considering the whole situation. Oh shit! That Virgilio guy! So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? What? Gil stuff. Don't mind it. What were you talking about to Brian? Well, we were mostly catching up to be honest. I hadn't seen him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to... Uh explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Uh-oh. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. <gasps> it's a dog. <sighs> Is it a dog? I suddenly have deja vu. If you want to find out if it's a dog, join us for the next episode of Press A to Gay. Oh my god. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. If you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button. Also, think about checking out our Patreon. It's there in the end card and in the video description. There's lots of cool and amazing things there that will make all of your friends think you're just so popular. Uh, yeah, but but it won't be true. That's yeah. It'll uh, be so true. No. All right. Bye, everybody. <laughs>